Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the 2011 Monster Arts Godzilla Fig by Bandai. Great fig here, nice packaging, nice little look of the um, head of Godzilla there. We have the nice little um, atomic blast effect piece that comes with it. Spin it to the side here, we get the nice little back picture of Godzilla with some nice metallic um, writing there. On the top, get a nice little kind of Godzilla logo there. On the back here we get a nice little timeline, which is nice came out in 1954 and then his final movie was in 2004 but in the Millennium series called Final Wars. Some nice pictures of Godzilla there. All right, let's take a look at the fig now. All right, here's Godzilla the packaging and Bandai did a great job giving us a well-detailed fig. I mean, the textured skin here, the great-looking head sculpt with the teeth there, the spikes on the back. I mean, just fantastic look. Now, he's got a ton of articulation. We'll start off with the tail here. At the base, all the way through the tip, you have some type of movement. You can move it up and down right here, side to side, and each individual part here you can kind of twist and turn. Um, you can do a lot with it, which is really a nice feature. He does have articulation in the bottom of the neck to the middle portion of the neck, so you can kind of move them side to side, kind of up and down. It's a little stiff, um, but you can get that rotation there. He has the ability to open and close his mouth and you get some nice detail within the mouth. It does have a kind of a waist swivel and some of it is hindered by the body um, unfortunately but you can move his arms up and down in and out a little bit. He does have a bicep swivel, elbow joint, elbow swivel, wrist swivel, um, legs can go kind of forward and back again it's kind of hindered by the body here. It does have a knee joint movement, um, a swivel above the knee and below the knee, and a swivel in the um, ankle here, so. Fairly poseable. Again, he's about a six inch fig. Here is the uh, Beast Hunter's Prowl. Kind of get a scale there. So, does come with the nice little accessory piece here of the atomic kind of um, blast that he has. Here's the base, it's a kind of a translucent kind of blue plastic, you get the stand, and then you actually get the effect piece there. And you just kind of pop it into his mouth, and there you have him with his atomic fire breath, or whatever the proper name is. But very cool fig. I've always been a fan of Godzilla, and it's really cool that we're getting a really a great line. Unfortunately, it can be expensive, but I do like the fact that all the monsters within the line are in a scale with each other, but again, it can be expensive. So um, if you're a Godzilla fan, this is definitely something to kind of check out or the line to check out. Um, so this has just been a kind of a quick look at the Monster Arts Bandai Godzilla fig guys. Thanks for watching again. Stay tuned for more. Take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.